Hey everybody, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I want to share with you what I think is the most useful, or maybe even just the safest way to share URLs to code files in GitHub repositories on github.com. Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to actually find the files, and there are a number of different ways to do that. I've found that there are two that people tend to use more than others. One is we can actually just kind of peck and hunt until we find what we're looking for by using the tree view. So I'm in my website's repository here, and let's say I wanted to look for a recent post, I can kind of dig through the various directories until I find what I'm looking for. And let's say I wanted to share this particular post. Here's the, here's the markdown code. Now, notice as I'm doing this, that by default, when I landed on the repository, I am browsing in the default branch, which in this project is called main. And main actually shows up in the URL. So I have github.com slash Sean C. Davis, Sean C. Davis .com. So my user and my repo, which is the path to the main page of that repository. But before we get to the actual path to this file, you'll notice that I have blob slash main. And that's indicating that I am on the main branch. In fact, I can change it from here. This file might not exist in different um in different branches maybe we pick one where it probably does exist here it is and notice that when i do that i've got now it's blob depend bot and we've got this whole like this all this part of the url now is um it, it's telling github which uh which branch we're looking at and and the path to the file is still the same but it's at the end uh, of of the url so going back to my main branch, that's one way to get there. Now, if I go back to the root of the repository, another way to get to that same post is by just hitting T. And this is the way I usually navigate because it's a lot faster. You saw how long it took me to get through those various directories because it, 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 it uh, that, that particular file was nested pretty deeply where I can just say, well, I know it's a post. So, you know, and, and, and this, is, this is what they call a uh, fuzzy, I think fuzzy finder, fuzzy search, something like that. And so I don't actually have to type full paths. I can do something like www posts and, and not actually type the full words and start to get there and say SVG react. And now all of a sudden I found exactly what I'm looking for. It's right there. I click that, I go straight there. But again, I'm on the main branch and I can click the code and I see what I'm looking for. So I want to share the URL to this. And I think for a lot of folks who are starting out, this is, you say, okay, well, this is what I'm trying to share. So I'm just going to copy this URL and paste it wherever I need to and share it. Now, for some sort of ephemeral communication where you just need somebody to get here really quickly, that's totally fine. But if you're sharing this URL and you want it to live in perpetuity, it's kind of a risky move to share this URL. And why is that? That's because you're sharing the URL on the primary branch of your repository. So if, for example, I were to, I don't know, I could change the name, I could change the path to this file. I could change posts to blog, which I have done. I could change the date for whatever reason or move this to a different directory or decide to remove the file. And then all of a sudden, this URL is no good. It leads to a 404. So how can we make sure that the reference to this file uh, persists? And um, but before we even get there, there's a there's a a further uh, there's a further risk here, which is not just you know okay maybe you have a lot of confidence that this file is never actually going to change, but what if I was trying to push somebody to some particular section of this file? Say, here's a code here's a code block that I wanted to. Uh, share with somebody and, and by the way if you didn't know this you can you can click on a line and notice that at the end of the url you get this little hash and it's hash l73 which stands for line 73 and if i hold shift and then i click another line now i've got this range 73 to 93 and this is what i'm sharing now again the downside to this this is even riskier because even if i don't change the path to the file if i add any sort of code to this particularly above this line 73, well, all of a sudden I'm going to, th that 
URL is then going to be highlighting the wrong lines. So the point being here that this is a little bit of a risky move in sharing this URL on the main branch. So what do we actually want to do is share the URL using the latest commit for that is relevant for this particular for this particular file or for really maybe it's the last commit for the project and I can show you how to do that in a couple different ways. Now, if we're on this file and we want to make sure we have a reference to this file in this point in time in perpetuity, what we can do is you notice that we have now have the latest commit reference to this file. You can look at the history of the file and you can see that it's changed a couple of times. That's fine. But also you can just copy this uh, short commit hash. So I'm going to copy that and up in the URL, change main to that commit hash. And now if I hit enter, notice First of all, it took me down to the, I still had the, the lines appended at the end, but it worked. And now I have blob slash that commit hash, and that's not going to change unless somebody, somebody could theoretically overwrite that commit force push. That's highly, uh, that is like much, much, much more highly unlikely that you could do that. You might also want to say, well, I'm just going to look at, I want the project at this particular time. And that's okay. This is maybe not the latest commit. It's definitely not 21 days ago. Um, what you could do is you could go back to the main page of the repo. Now we're back on main. Well, instead of doing that, I can go into what is the latest commit, also 21 days ago, but I think a little bit more recent. And I, from here, I've got this button to browse files. And now, even if I hit T, notice if I hit T here, that I'm actually still in this commit hash. And so I can go do my fuzzy search again, SVG react. And I've got a different commit hash and notice this time it's expanded by default. But what I have here is I have this project in this point in time. And as long as somebody doesn't rewrite this commit, which again, highly unlikely, in most projects, then this is the safest way to be able to share a link to this file. So I hope that was helpful. It's a great way if you're going to point to examples, especially in something like documentation or a blog post. And particularly if it's, it's risky enough in a project that you own where you could forget about something you change, but it's extra risky if you're linking to another repository where you don't have any control over what may change. Use the commit hashes, don't use the branches, even if they're not the main branch, just don't use the branches, use the commit hashes, and you can have a lot more confidence that your, that your link will continue to be valid for days, months, and weeks, years, whatever, for all of the future. All right, that's it for this quick tip. I'm Sean C. Davis, and I will see you next time.